Hello everyone, welcome to Cinema Snacks, the show where we talk about what to eat at the movies. I'm your host, Caramel Thunder, and today we have a little special episode for you. As we all know, uh, COVID-19 has effectively shut down most schools in Oregon. All schools in Oregon, actually. Students are at home, they're learning through online means and packets that are being sent home. Uh, they're all on their own. And I think this is a wonderful time for all of us as a collective, as students of all ages, regardless if you've graduated high school or not, to take this time to learn, new, learn some new things about the world, about ourselves, and about how the universe works. And something that's very important and near and dear to my heart is, of course, Cinema Snacks. But I realized this week that not a lot of people know what cinema snacks are. In fact, not a lot of people know what movie theater snacks are. Some people don't even know what food is. So I thought today we'd sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, because today I'm going to teach you. So today I have a Coca-Cola glass with, with ice. I have some orange vanilla Coke Zero. Let me just get my beverage started and then the lecture will begin. One thing that they teach you at bartending school is if you want less bubbles, you pour along the side of the glass. That way it doesn't froth up too much. It's not all the Coke, there's still some more in there, but that's okay, because I can refill. And another trick for you guys, get a red vine, bite both ends, stick it in, you got a straw. Mm. The red vines, I think, pair particularly well with the flavored Cokes and the Sprites. Also root beer. Root beer works pretty good. But that's besides the point. We're not here to talk about this, although this is delicious and everybody should try this at home. No, today we're going over what are food, what is food, what is cinema snacks, and what are movie theater snacks. To help you guys out, I think I'll, I'll start off by drawing a little, a little visual for you guys. All right. What is this? You might be saying a circle with the word food underneath. You'd be right. But this, is, this circle is much more than a circle. It represents the category of food. Food encompassing everything from desserts, snacks, fruits, vegetables, milk, wheat thins, mice, you name it. This is every single kind of thing that you can eat and consume that's edible. With me so far? Okay, good. Next up, I'm gonna draw my next category. All right, can you see that? Well, I hope you can, because I'm not redoing this video. That's a red circle, cinema snacks. What are cinema snacks, you might ask? Well, cinema snacks are food or snacks that are sold at movie theaters. They're foods, they're also foods that you can bring into the movie theater, okay? And you don't have to change how you eat them. I'm going to let that information sit there with you for a little bit, and we're going to come back to it. Don't worry. I'm going to elaborate on all of it. Now, next category, a different color. Excuse my poor handwriting. Now, what is that? That is a blue circle with the category movie theater snacks. Let me get a drink real quick. So as you see, there is a hierarchy here. There is an order. Outside we have food. In the middle, we have cinema snacks. And in the very center, the epicenter here, 
we have movie theater snacks. In fact, I'm going to color this in as I explain what exactly movie theater snacks are, what are cinema snacks, what is food. As you can imagine from the title, movie theater snacks are snacks that are sold at movie theaters. I'm reading from some notes here. They're also food that is impressive to sneak into the movie theater. Now let me explain. Some food items are so impressive to sneak into a movie theater. They don't belong at the movie theater. They're not sold at the movie theaters. But you sneak them in anyway. And because of what you snuck in and how impressive it was, it becomes a movie theater snack. Okay? You with me so far? Don't worry. We're going to go over all examples. I'll answer all your questions. Movie theater snacks also include foods that are snuck into theaters by characters in pop culture. And I'm going to return to this, but I'm going to go back to our very basic layer here of food. Food. What is food? Well, you know what food is. I don't have to go over that. Let me skip down to cinema snacks. Again, cinema snacks are food that are sold at the theater. So all movie theater snacks are cinema snacks. Okay? All movie theater snacks are cinema snacks. They're also food that if you sneak them into the theater, they don't make a big mess. You don't have to eat them in a weird way. And I'll get to some examples in a minute. But a quick one is a hot dog. Now, they sell a hot dog at the movie theater. This is true. But if you sneak a hot dog into a theater, a movie theater that, for instance, doesn't sell hot dogs, you don't have to change the way you eat it. It's a relatively easy-to-eat finger food that you can eat and snack on. So, therefore, it, it qualifies it as a cinema snack, as a second layer. Is it a movie theater snack? Yes, but it's also a cinema snack. And cinema snacks, what I would say, is a, a big differentiation between cinema snacks and movie theater snacks, specifically, is where you eat them. You see, cinema snacks aren't what you eat at the movie theater. I mean, as I've said before, this blue layer, movie theater snacks, all movie theater snacks are cinema snacks. However, if you're at home and you're eating popcorn, that's a cinema snack. That's something you eat because you associate it with the movies. That's something you eat because they sell at the theater. It's something that's quick and easy to eat, that you enjoy, that tastes good, and is a part of the movie watching experience. Excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff right there. In fact, I'm going to top that off. There we go. You can almost just hear those bubbles. Well, I hope you can. All right, back to the lecture. Now, this is where we get into some complicated rule stuff. It's very kind of hard to, hard to explain. It's very abstract. But I think over the course of this, you're going to get what I'm saying as I go over this with examples. So, for instance, let's go over the first example. I said this earlier. A hot dog. Is it a food? Well, it is a food, yes. Yes, it is. And it is a movie theater snack because they are sold at most movie theaters. All right? That's a thing. A movie theater snack is a snack that is sold at most movie theaters. Most movie theaters sell popcorn, candy, ices, sodas, drinks, alcohol now, hot dogs, nachos. Some sell pizza, some sell burgers. But we'll get into that in a minute. So a hot dog is a movie theater snack because they sell it at most movie theaters. It is also a cinema snack because every single movie theater snack is also a cinema snack. Let's go to the next example. And it's also food. Hot dog is also food. Of course, all of these are foods. A burger. Burger is tricky because they do sell burgers at a lot of movie theaters. They do not sell them at most theaters, I believe. If you go into a Regal theater... I don't believe most of them have the ability to give you a hot dog or a hamburger. Sorry. So, but it is something that they can sell at a movie theater. And it is a food that you can sneak into the movie theater. And it is easy to eat inside. Now, it depends on the burger. If you go to Five Guys Burgers and Fries, ask them for five patties, stack it up. Gets all messy. Got juices running down your face and fingers. That's kind of on you. But if you go to McDonald's, you go to Burger King, you go to Carl's Jr., you know, 
Put it in your pocket, sneak it out. It's easy to unwrap. It's right there. You can eat it. It's relatively easy to eat. So while a hamburger is not a movie theater snack, because again, they don't sell them at most movie theaters, it qualifies as a cinema snack. And therefore, if I'm at home and I want to have, you know, I want to have some food, I want to have some snacks along with my movie to make it feel like I'm going to the movies, well, hamburger is a perfectly acceptable snack choice. It's a perfectly acceptable snack option because you very, 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 ah, very well may sneak a hamburger into a movie theater. Some people might not. That's your call. But you know, this is uh, this is this is this is my universal set of rules that are that are just that I that I've created that I think are good guidelines for people to follow when talking about what is a what is, what kind of snacks are there. Nachos, great example. This is another good example. Mm. Side note, you'll notice that my red vine straw is now soaked in this Coca Cola. So now it's kind of hard to eat, suck out of. So what you want to do when this happens is you want to you want to eat your red vine. And we're back. Apologies, folks. There was a little technical difficulty there. Uh, we left where we last left off. Let me look at my notes here. Was nachos. So nachos. They sell it. They do sell at a lot of movie theaters. They sell them at a lot of movie theaters, but they don't sell them at all movie theaters. I don't think there's a lot of nachos being sold at art house movie theaters, for example. Um, so, what is it? Is it a movie theater snack? No, because they don't sell it at most movie theaters. It is. Is it a cinema snack though? Yes, it is, because they do sell them at a lot of movie theaters. And if you go to Taco Bell, get a thing of nachos, sneak it in, it doesn't create a huge mess. It doesn't drastically change how you eat the nachos. And if you eat it at home, it does kind of feel like a movie theater snack, a movie snack. So nachos are a cinema snack. Everybody with me so far? If you have questions, write them down and put them in the comments because I will address them. I will I will help you out. Now here's here, now here's where we get into some of the more funky rules. A steak dinner. What do you think? It's food, we know that. But it is a, is it a cinema snack or a movie theater snack? Well, we come we do come into this issue with, you know, again, do they sell steak dinners at movie theaters? Some of them do. It, listen, I was as surprised as you are when I found that out. Some of them do. At some movie theaters, they do sell steak dinners, which is kind of cool. But do they sell them at most movie theaters? No, they don't. So it is not a movie theater snack. Now, if you take a steak dinner, or maybe just a steak, and you sneak it into a movie theater, and you eat it, do you have to change how you eat it? Yeah, you do. Because normally when you eat a steak, I'm assuming you sit down with your steak, you cut it up, you eat it, maybe dip it in some A1 sauce or mustard or something like that. You can't do that in a movie theater necessarily. You have to sneak in a plate, you have to sneak in forks. It's not easy to access. Um, so you have to change how you eat it entirely. So unfortunately, a steak dinner is not a cinema snack. Because if you bring it into a movie theater, it you have to change up your whole eating game, how you eat it, how you approach it. So if I'm at home, I'm hanging out at home, I want to have a nice meal with my, or I'm sorry, I want to have a snack to go along with my movie, and I want to feel like I'm going to the movie theater, I want to have a snack that I associate with the movies, I'm not going to choose a steak dinner. Now, that is different from eating a steak dinner while watching a movie. That's another video entirely. All right, up next, spaghetti. Okay. This is where we get into the issue of pop culture. Not the issue, the, the influence of pop culture. Spaghetti, much like a steak dinner, is not sold at most movie theaters. It's also not a snack that I can bring easily into a movie theater if I so choose. 
because I have to drastically change it. I have to put it in a bag. I have to, you know, put it in a weird container. You don't know what. However, if you remember that episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, there was an episode in which the Charlie Kelly character snuck in spaghetti into a movie theater. I've known people in real life. I've seen people in real life. I've, excuse me, I've heard of people on the internet who sneak spaghetti into a movie theater. So because of pop culture, it has now become a thing to sneak spaghetti into a movie theater. So this is kind of a trick question, but what do you, th- what kind of category do you think a spaghetti, di- spaghetti constitutes? Is it, we know it's food, but is it a cinema snack or movie theater snack? It is a movie theater snack. Because of pop culture, because we've seen a character sneak slash eat that food in a movie theater, it then becomes acceptable to regularly eat that thing in a movie theater. I believe there's a Woody Allen film where he sneaks in burgers into a movie theater. That's another good example. Creepy dude, so don't do everything he does, but uh, you get the point. Now, lasagna. This, I think you guys should be getting the gist of this. Lasagna. Is that a movie theater snack or a cinema snack? No, it is not. You're correct. Because if I sneak, a mo- if I sneak lasagna into a theater, I can't easily eat it. I have to change it my whole game. Nor do they sell it at most movie theaters. So lasagna would not constitute as a movie theater or cinema snack. Trail mix. Here's a good one. Trail mix. Is that a cinema snack? Or a movie theater snack at all? I'll give you a minute to think. Wow. That sounded violent. Got your answer? Okay, we're going to say it in one, two, three. One, two, three. Cinema snack. Are you surprised? Some of you might be. Let me break it down. Do they sell trail mix at most movie theaters? No, they do not. So it is automatically not a movie theater snack. Can you sneak trail mix into a movie theater and still and not have to drastically change how you eat it? Yes, you can. In fact, I've sneak in, I've snuck trail mix into a movie theater frequently, multiple times. So therefore, if I'm trying to have a good night uh, movie night at home, I can eat trail mix at home and it'll feel like a night at the movies. So, trail mix. It is a cinema snack, but not a movie theater snack. Ah, here we go. Well, you know, I'm going to skip the big one and I'll go down to tacos. Are tacos a movie theater snack? This is where it gets tricky. This is where the line's a little bit blurred. Because not all tacos would constitute as cinema snacks. Certainly not movie theater snacks. We know that they don't sell tacos at most movie theaters. So automatically, it's not a movie theater snack. But can you sneak a taco and eat it easily in a movie theater? It depends on the taco. There's some taco places you go to where they've got kind of, they've, they're soft shell. They're really loaded with delicious chicken and onions and, and vegetables and all that stuff. And it makes a mess. And there's juices dripping down all over your arm as you take a bite of it. I wouldn't consider those movie theater snacks because they do cause a big mess. Not easy to eat in the dark in a movie theater. But Taco Bell, for example, while not authentic to what a taco is, Taco Bell hard shell taco, I would think that would constitute itself as a cinema snack because you can sneak into a theater. doesn't make a huge mess unless you've forgotten how to eat or be a you know, clean eater. So I would say a Taco Bell taco would constitute as a cinema snack. Now, some of these, uh, something like a burger, like I I pointed out earlier, a Five Guys Burger and Fries burger, loaded up, patties and all that stuff, probably not going to make a, not going to be easy to eat in the theater, not be easy to eat in the dark, but a McDonald's uh, burger, for example, that would be a better cinema snack. You'll notice that the less authentic and less organic the food, the fast food is, the more likely, the, uh, the higher the chance that it would fit into the cinema snack category. Because remember, when we watch a movie theater, we're not always going for, you know, nice, you know, organically, you know, farm-grown food or whatever, what have you. 
you know? It's usually really cheap fast food or cheap junk food. Uh, and that's just kind of what movie theater snacks have become. A burrito. A burrito is the next one on the list. A burrito, I, well, again, they don't sell it at most movie theaters, so it's not a movie theater snack. But they do sell it in, uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but you can sneak a burrito in. And I would say most burritos, depending on who wrapped it, you can easily eat in a movie theater in the dark. So I would say a burrito would constitute as a movie theater, as a, I'm sorry, a cinema snack. Remember, just a refresher, food is everything. Red, cinema snack is in, is in the middle within food. And then within that, that's movie theater snack. All right, last one. This is where we get to our uh, little bit of our list here, <clears throat> or uh, kind of our kind of uh, outlier. A rotisserie chicken. Now you're laughing. I can hear you laughing. But the thing with rotisserie chickens is, is the idea of sneaking... Now, I'm not talking about slices of a rotisserie chicken. I'm talking about a whole big rotisserie chicken. You know, you go to Costco, get that container. A rotisserie chicken... The I, Do they sell those at movie theaters? No, they don't. No movie theater sells a rotisserie chicken. Does one sneak a movie a rotisserie chicken into the movie theater? And is it easy to eat in the theater? No, it's not. So you would think that it is not a cinema snack. However, with some food, it is so impressive, so ridiculous, so wild and crazy that one would even conceive of sneaking it into a movie theater that when someone does it, you have no choice but to applaud them. You have no choice but to be impressed with their skills and their ability and their dedication to eating a whole rotisserie chicken at a movie theater. So in that moment, the act of eating a rotisserie chicken at the movie theater, it makes the rotisserie chicken a movie theater snack because of how impressive it is to sneak into a theater. Does that, make, does that constitute rotisserie chickens as a cinema snack? No, it doesn't. Does it make it a normal movie theater snack? No, it doesn't. But it is impressive enough that it becomes a movie theater snack in that moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Does that make sense? Again, I will address any comments and or questions in the comments. Feel free to leave those. And as you can see, this straw has become soggy. So I'm just going to bite it and leave it in there. Grab a new one. I've noticed that red vines give an interesting flavor to Coke if you leave them in there. And the last little drops of this. And let's get ready to make a wind down here. Now, let's wrap up this video with a little bit of overview, a little review of everything. I've gone over some examples, but let's go over the rules again in the categories. First category, food. Food is everything. Food is anything edible that you can eat, um, no, matter, no matter what. Unfortunately, people sometimes. We're not going to go into that in this video. The next category is cinema snacks. Cinema snacks are, are food items that, you can, that are sold at a movie theater. They're sold at a movie theater. Or you can sneak into a movie theater and they are easy to eat and don't create a huge mess. And you don't have to change up how you eat that food. They're also a food that you can eat at home. In fact, a lot of times you eat these foods at home while you're watching a movie and it'll make you feel like you're going to the movies. So that's cinema snacks. Movie theater snacks are food that are sold at most movie theaters. So those are our three categories. We got food, cinema snacks, and movie theater snacks. Now these categories might sound ridiculous. You might disagree with them. I welcome disagreement. We can have a wonderful discussion in the comments section or in a further in, a, in another video even. I'm this this is just my loose guidelines of how I think of snacks, how I how I categorize snacks. And why is this important? Well, it's all about getting in the right mood. It's all about what food, what snack is going to best complement your experience in that moment while you're watching a movie. It's all about deciding what to eat. Now, this list is most helpful, I find, 
when you are just trying to figure out what to eat at home. In fact, that's probably the biggest benefit to, you know, having this this category, this kind of philosophy nailed down in your head. It's mo- very helpful for times like these, when it's quarantine and there's no movie theaters open and you want to go and just escape into a movie somewhere, but you can't. So you got to close all the blinds, shut off the lights, put your phone away, and you want to put on a movie and you want to make it feel you're, like you're at the theater. Maybe your kids are missing going out, so you want to set up a projector screen and you want to make it f- them feel like they're going to the theater. This this categorization will help you put together a snack cuisine for the evening. Whether you want to go straight movie theater snacks, or maybe you want to be a little more loose with the cinema snacks. And I find that this list is very helpful for nights like those when you're trying to f- just figure out what to eat when you're having a movie night at home. And uh, what's 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 more important than that? That's everything that I have for you guys. Thank you for listening to my little video here. I hope you learned something. I hope you leave some comments so I can learn from you. In fact, that's that's why I start this channel. You know, I learn from you, you learn from me. It goes both ways. So if you like the video, let me know. Leave a comment what you think. Questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. And until next time, stay safe.